In this video, I'm going to show you five of the best side hustles that you can start in 2021 to build a successful business. Creating extra streams of income has never been so important at a time in the world where job security has never been more fragile. Having that safety net can really help protect you against unexpected events that may happen in life. And the great thing is it has never been easier to start an online business or side hustle that has access to the entire world 24-7. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Matt. I work for a bank by day. I invest in property on the side. And on this channel, we explore all things money, finance, and property investing to help people lead a more financially savvy life. Okay, so before we get into the top five ideas, first we need to understand what a side hustle actually is. In the simplest terms, a side hustle is a job or gig that you do on the side that gives you an extra stream of income aside from your normal nine to five or full-time job. Usually the best side hustles are some kind of freelance or gig type role where you can work as little or as many hours as you want to. This means you can ramp things up or slow things down depending on how busy you are in day-to-day -day life. And with the side hustle, you can make that extra income and diversify your money that's coming in every single month and also at the same time doing something that you are really passionate about and really enjoy doing therefore it shouldn't truly feel like extra work during uncertain economic times hello covid you can have an extra stream of income to give you that extra layer of security and i'm a massive firm believer of building as many streams of income as you can as possible to help protect yourself in the future therefore imagine if you was propped up by four table legs and one of those legs were to collapse you're still supported by the other three legs and therefore can still stay stood up. Additionally, side hustles can help refine your existing skills, branch out into new skills and also become an expert in a particular area. And it's also a great way if you're looking to have a bit of a change in your job career and test the waters of your brand new skills. Now, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Having that extra side job and side hustle means that you'll be working more hours. So it's really important that you choose something that you really enjoy doing and you're genuinely passionate about. It can make work-life balance harder to achieve and that's why it's really important. The last thing you want to be doing is working a side hustle that you really don't enjoy and you hate it on a day-to-day -day basis. I've tried creating so many projects in the past where I've just simply given up because the passion and the fire and the spark just wasn't there after even a month. And that's really crucial, whether it's starting a YouTube channel or whatever it is, you have to have that passion to show up and keep doing it week after week after week if you want to really make some money from the business. You may also want to avoid any particular side hustles that require a large investment up front, whether that's buying loads of gear, purchasing loads of stock, or generally if you have huge startup costs that you think could be a risk, then you shouldn't be risking that money and that side hustle probably isn't the right thing for you. Firstly, is selling your services through the gig economy. Now this could be as simple as using your writing skills or design skills, and it could be doing something online through marketplaces like fiverr.com alternatively in the uk you could be a delivery driver for deliveroo now gig economy has had a bit of a bad rap in the past around zero hours contract lack of holiday pay and all these controversial topics but if you're doing this just as something on the side to supplement your main income then it shouldn't really matter too much and if you can get in an extra ten dollars here and there by doing some writing then that's incredible that's more than nothing in 2021 most people who have digital skills can sell those services online whether it's writing branding and design if you are great at editing videos then there is definitely somebody out there who's looking to hire you and even if you're wondering matt what if these people have the skills already? Well, people want to build businesses and they want to outsource the work. I would love to outsource editing in the future on YouTube because it takes a lot of my time. Therefore, yes, I can edit, but I'd love to hire an editor in the future. And that's what people are looking to do. So you can actually join these small, incredible virtual teams where you have these small companies made up of people all over the world looking to build an incredible online business. Since working on Fiverr, which is my example, I have made over $23,000 over the past year alone, working on mainly a bit of design stuff and also SEO work and it's been a lot of work I've had to deal with a lot of clients there are the good sides and the bad sides but overall that is $23,000 extra that I wouldn't have had this time last year on Fiverr there are 2.4 million active buyers every single month but there are only 830,000 sellers on the platform this means that there are more than two buyers for every seller on the platform but what you can do is really stack the deck if you have an amazing looking gig you brand it up really well you have a video introducing yourself then you can stand up probably above 50, 60, 70% of the competition out there, which is very low quality. And that's how you start to get sales in. 
I actually have my own free class that I teach on Skillshare.com. You can check out a link in the description, which is my hour and 30 minute class, which teaches you how to go from zero to a top rated seller on the platform. So I highly recommend checking out the class if you'd love to learn more about Fiverr. Secondly is starting a YouTube channel. Now everybody asks and wonders, is it too late to start a YouTube channel? In 2016, YouTube had over 1.35 billion active users who watched YouTube a minimum of once a month. Now this doesn't include the people who watch YouTube every single day, which is more like 20 billion, it's crazy. And in 2021, this is forecast to be 1.9 billion active users watching at least one video every single month. Now that's an additional 550 million active users over the course of that five years. And then imagine in five years time after you've started a YouTube channel, there's an extra half a billion people there wanting to watch videos just like yours. In comparison, when you look at the amount of channels actually creating quality videos on YouTube and actually pushing out content, there were only 15 million active channels pushing out content a few years ago. Recently, that's now gone up to around 35 million in 2021, but 35 million is tiny compared to the 1.9 billion active users who are viewing multiple videos every single month. You can make money through so many different ways on YouTube, whether that's the generic AdSense, you could have affiliate links in your description and get people to click on things like Amazon links and Audible trials, or you could sell your own products and services to help generate income. The biggest YouTubers definitely make more than seven figures every single year. So imagine if you even had a small slice of that pie, you'd be still making more than the average salary every single year, which is incredible. And when you dial this back to a side hustle, even if you earned an extra hundred pounds or hundred dollars every single month, that's still a really cool thing to do. Thirdly is ancestral supplements and sleep gummies. Now hear me out on this one. This is a really interesting topic. So according to explodingtopics.com, ancestral supplements have increased by over 8,500% over the past five years in terms of search volume. And people are going crazy about this new supplement in the market. Traditionally, Native Americans and ancient ancestral healers believed that eating the organs of animals would help repair and protect the organ of the person who's eating it. Now that sounds absolutely grim, but these days it's ground up into a fine powder and put into a capsule that you can swallow whole, so there's no taste and there's nothing really too grim about it. Sleep gummies are also another massive supplement product that are starting to storm the industry. This has increased by over 99 times over the past five years, and many, many more people are looking for these types of gummies to help people sleep. They're all very natural, it's all natural herbal ingredients and there's nothing too crazy in there. And gummy vitamins are actually not a new thing. They were traditionally used to get kids to take their supplements and vitamins on a daily basis because it was this yummy, tasty little treat that kids could have, very similar to a sweet. Why would you take supplements that you can't swallow or don't like the taste of if there's a better alternative? Sleep gummies have stepped into the industry to give you a tasty way to get hold of your supplements and all the extracts that are really healthy for you on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's why it has really exploded over the past five years. The global dietary supplement market is forecast to be worth over 272 billion US dollars by 2020. This is a huge industry. The growing awareness around personal health and having the right supplements in our diet is really crucial and more and more people are becoming aware of this, hence the growth in the trend and this particular area. Fourth is upcycling furniture and flipping items on marketplaces like eBay, Etsy and other online marketplaces. Now, I'm a firm believer that online marketplaces are a great way to sell products and services online and build a business. And the reason why is that you don't have to spend all of the money on advertising, building a website, having servers, payment processing, all of that stuff, all these marketplaces just charge a flat fee when you sell an item. But that's worth it when you think about all of the advertising costs and all of the bill costs to get the business off the ground in the first place. And you have access to this ready-made place or website where there are millions and millions of people visiting the website every single day, and that is priceless. Now, there are a few ways to sell items on online marketplaces. Firstly, you could buy items in bulk from websites like Alibaba. So you buy in bulk, you ship it over to the US or the UK, and then you sell the items individually for a profit on each individual item. Secondly, you could find old furniture and upcycle it. So you could find an old chair, a desk, a table, whatever it is, sand it down, paint it, revarnish it, and make it into a premium looking product. And then you can sell it for a profit based on what you bought it for, and then the time and effort and money you spent on recycling and bringing it up to a very good saleable standard. Thirdly, you could buy items 
items cheap from a car boot sale and then sell them back online at a slightly higher price if you think you've got a good bargain. Did you know that furniture accounts for 9.8 million tons of waste every single year in the US? So this is an amazing example and a way that you can take this and turn it into cash and into profit as a side hustle. Compared to building an online business which will take time and effort and patience to get the first sale through the door, instead buying furniture and selling it is really easy with the help of things like Facebook Marketplace. This means you could buy a piece of furniture and by the end of the week you could pretty much be selling it on for a profit. And last but not least is teaching online. The internet is this incredible place where you'll meet people who have the weirdest and wonderful hobbies and interests and within that people are always looking and willing to learn. That means if you have skills to teach you could create an online course with that one-to-one -one coaching directly online through Zoom or you could have a video course teaching other people about the skills that you have. The same goes for YouTube. There are so many random topics on this website. I can pretty much guarantee whatever it is that you're into, you could find a video relating to that topic or subject. And that's why it's an incredible place. And with video technology even better in 2021, it has never been easier to start some kind of teaching course, be that through Zoom, teaching somebody piano lessons, or teaching an online video course of how to edit YouTube videos. I created my two classes on Skillshare a few months ago, teaching people both about SEO, so ranking higher in Google, and also becoming a top rated seller on Fiverr. And now those two classes are consistently bringing in around $500 every single month, which is absolutely mind blowing. And when I think about it, I would love to do a piano course in the future or learn some kind of instrument or get better at singing. And I could easily do that through an online course or through Zoom sessions. So as much as creating courses and teaching people online, I also am an advocate and customer of other courses as well. So now that you're armed with the five best ideas for 2021 to create your own side hustle and grow an incredibly successful business, I think you should check out this video just here, which is how much money you should have saved by every single age milestone as you go through life. So feel free to click on this video and I'll see you on the other side.